when this travel ban happening across the world mainly for indians indian india as such is getting into red list that means lot of indians would not be allowed to travel across the world it's an opportunity for us to create our own op- own destinations so dubai has told anybody who wants to get vaccinated and pay for it you are most welcome that is what is happening in world around so welcome to stock market institute market wrap up this is kishore here the markets were positive today mainly because of the positive sentiments but i don't think so this will last long sensex went up by 374.87 points and nifty went up by 109.75 points investors are dumping fmcg shares and buying financial sector that means they are seeing that this particular sector is already come down a lot and this is a place where you can buy at a better price and make good average so this is again one of the good moves let's wait and watch apart from this pfizer has approached indian government telling that we will sell you the vaccination for no profit and they would be giving uh, this particular vaccination at a subsidized price and only to government that is what it says but however people have a lot of doubts with regard to the price recently they had south african government signing up with them and each vaccination of pfizer was given at a price of 10 dollars if that is the same price that we would be paying we would end up paying almost 750 plus rupees for every one vaccination so we just have to wait and see what will be the price finally that will be decided apart from this ola energy or ola electric is about to launch their vehicles in july this year and they plan to set up a lot of charging stations in india and the value of investment would be almost 2 billion is what they say and their main criteria or the main aim when they are manufacturing this particular bike is to enhance the range for every one charge that you do the kind of kilometers that you can cover is what they are mainly focusing on if this is met the ultimate goal is been met because india is a place where they are more mostly concerned about the mileage kitna deti hai so this is what this particular company is focusing on and yes they are in the right direction so let's wait and watch how their vehicles would perform revolt which is a european digital bank is expanding into india thanks to india's uh, adoption of digital payment like uh, the wallet system and other things people are more used to paying money through the paytm google pay uh, amazon pay and other things so this company is now entered india they are planning to invest almost 25 million for next 5 years and their app would be launched by 2022 early so this is what is the thing probably like how uh, city bank went outside india we may see lot of new financial companies or banks coming into india with digital banking as a product and they would like to acquire lot of market share is what i see apart from this uh, vodafone idea to sustain and maintain their business in india has dialed uh, the pension fund houses across the world they plan to raise almost 3 billion dollars through the pension houses but some of now they have come down to a number which is like 1 billion with this they aim to keep their business afloat and this is what is the thing that is going on aviation body says that aviation business in india till today in last 3 months or 4 months time has lost 47.7 billion thanks to covid lot of travel restrictions as well as people are not willing to travel anywhere outside so this is what is the loss but however they say that there is bit of positivity that is there and they see that 43% uh, of the levels of the pre pandemic is what they wish to achieve and because of this vaccination thing going on they say that lot of people would tend to travel because last one one and a half year nobody has traveled so the travel would increase it what they are saying so 43% recovery is what they are saying so let's wait and watch apart from this the top gainer for the day was icici bank which went up by 3.6% as i told you people are dumping the fmcg stocks and buying financial services so icici was one of the most preferred company so people started buying it and the same closed at 579 rupees 20 paise the top loser for the day was titan industries which went down by 2.76% and the same closed at 1480 rupees 85 paise gold as well as silver including the crude everything has come down 
gold right now trading at on 47,852 rupees and the same is down by 376 rupees 5 by 10 grams silver right now trading at 69,820 and the same is down by 518 rupees 5 by 1 kilo apart from this uh, USD INR USD has gone down by 8 paise and the same is trading at 75 rupees 63 paise euro also has gone down by 4 paise and the same is trading at 90 rupees 42 paise petrol and diesel both have been kept same since the last 7 days there is no change in price at least in India, but internationally crude has been going down. Crude right now trading at around 4,590 rupees and the same is down by 48 rupees for every one contract of crude. The technical charts shows bit of stability, but however, we'll have to wait and see how the international markets would perform and what will be the scene of COVID because India has crossed 3 lakh mark every day and we have been recording the highest every single day. So if this particular thing grips more in the market, we may see a lot of lockdowns and other things being announced by the government. If that happens, again, we may end up in recession. So with this, we come to the end of today's market wrap up. Do like and subscribe the channel and share the videos amongst your friends so that more people get to learn and they can earn. Thank you. Have a great day.